Hey everyone, it's me from Survivor. I'm going to show you how to take a photo show quality picture. What you need and how to set up this thing and stuff like that. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is either to go outside or have a very well lit room. Uh, the best time to do this is in the afternoon, but you don't want it to be real sunny. Probably the best lighting would be a cloudy day. Uh, you want it bright, but not like sunny, where it's like creating shadows. The shadows are very bad to have in your photos when you show them. Okay, and then um, you're also, like, the room, if you're doing it inside, you don't want it to be too bright. So there's like two windows. So what I do is I put up this uh, pillowcase to block some of the light so it's not extremely bright. And then I have a window behind me here which is just perfect. And then you're going to need a ground footing thing. And um, I use sand, grass, or not like real grass. You want to use, I'll show you. Sorry. You want to use this stuff that you can find at a hobby shop. Uh, this was a really big roll. This is the biggest size you can get, so it was $30. But all you would need is like a 12 by 12 one, like 12 inches by 12 inches, and that would be like $4. So not that expensive, but, and they're a really good investment. Or you can use like a rock, and um, what you do when you use a rock is like, then you pull sand and maybe gravel over it. So it looks like, not like pebbles, but not real gravel. So it would be look kind of like um, a rock surface. So yeah, for this example, I will be using sand. Uh, sandbox sand works well, but what you have to do is you have to get rid of all the little pebbles in it, and you have to like strain it, I guess. So yeah, or you could buy sand at like craft shops, which works well. And the finer the sand, the better. Uh, you're probably better off going with one that's a little bit darker instead of like a real light desert colored sand, but it's up to you. And you're going to obviously need something to place the sand on. Then you're going to need something to blend the backdrop with the ground. You can use a fence, but let me go into fencing for a second. Fencing is very, um, I don't know how to explain it, but it's very can't think of the word but um what, what I mean it has to be very particular um it has to be the certain height this is the perfect height where it's a little bit below the back it has to be realistic and see those little things right here on the fence you have to cover those up with the sand otherwise it's unrealistic so yeah okay so fencing is kind of iffy okay um the backdrop you could, if you're using stable mates like I am, it, ha it doesn't have to be big, you could just print it off online, find something on the computer, print it off on a regular sheet of paper. But if you're using classics or uh, traditionals, you're going to have to have a poster board size background. Now what you could do is I think you could take your own picture, bring it into a Photoshop and blow it up to a really big size. Or you can buy backgrounds like on utterlyhorses.com I love that website um, you could buy it there and stuff so backdrops you can also use a plain blue backdrop like this color blue and that brings out shading in horses it's best for palominos bays and chestnuts I find all right and um, also to blend in a background with the footing you could always use uh, these little bushes you can find at a hobby stop store for like five dollars or something or pebbles so whatever you would like to use um, you definitely are going to have to invest some money into it as far as like uh, the grass and stuff but it's not real expensive or anything okay um, a camera obviously yeah okay so now let's get to the actual photographic part what you want to do is you have your camera and you want to go to no flash. See how it has flash there? Oh, 
hard. I just skipped it. Okay. Okay. Then you want to go to the little flower button. It means, see a flower? Uh, that means that it will focus on objects that are up close. And it may make the background blurry and the horse clear, which is really nice. So, okay. So you want to set that down to something and you want to have it at the same level as the horse. You don't want it to be like up here or down here or something. You want the same level like I level with the horse. You half click the focus and it, if it's green that means it's focused. Oh, you can't really see that. But it is focused and then you just take the picture. But I'm not going to actually take it since I already took it. <laughs> okay. Um, so that would be how you would take the picture. Uh, make sure it's focused. It has to be focused. It has to have good lighting. You don't want it too bright or too dark. You can play around with the focusing and the lighting until you get the right thing. Uh, like, the right lighting and such. It may take a while. So that is basically the basics on how you take a photo show quality photo. And this would be for photo shows or maybe even YouTube shows. Um, depends. Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching.